Loretta. Starring Loretta Young. Miss Loretta Young. Hello. Have you ever been to Mexico? Oh, my, it's a beautiful country. Everything about it is beautiful. Its color, its mountains, its villages, its seacoast, but oh, most of all, its people. They're warm and friendly and vital. We spent our honeymoon there. And so it's just possible that I may be slightly biased. Do you recall the night we sat in the patio of your hotel and listened to the story of a little girl named Chata? Chata is Spanish for a pug nose. Her real name was Inez, if you remember. And do you remember how deeply impressed we were with the story of Chata? And at the same time, how puzzled we were? Well, I think that the enclosed newspaper clipping, which I found by chance in this morning's paper, may explain away our puzzlement. Don't you agree? Yes, I most certainly do agree. And I think you will, too. But first, of course, you have to know the story of Chata. Chata was a little nine-year-old girl. She lived in a small house with her mother, a dancer whom everyone called Paula. Now, if the father to this little family lived, no one in the village had ever heard Paula mention him. She earned her living and her child's by dancing in the local cantina. Open for me. The statue, she is ready. Senor, I told my daughter she will have it tonight. And tomorrow the sun will also rise. Oh, well, not for Jota. She does not get her statue of Santa Ines. Senor, I have promised her. Is it ready? <sighs> oh, Senor, she was beautiful. It is too good for a child. Oh, no, no, not for Chata. This is no play toy for her. This is her patron saint, and she loves her very you much. You have the money? Si, sí, senor. Si, sí. it's right here. Yes. Ten, twenty, two, four, six pesos. And gracias, senor. Oh, it's the most beautiful statue in the whole world. Si. Sí. Is it truly mine? My very own, Mama Cita? Yes, Chatita, your very own. Mm. Now, have you decided where you're going to put her? See? Si. Oh, where? In the niche by your bed? Oh, no, no, not there. No? Where then? Come, I will show you. Oh? Out here? See, si, out here in the flowers, in a little grotto. But Chata, we would have to build it. You are keeping something from me. You have already built the grotto, eh? See, si, Mama Sita, I was sure that this would be my saint's day present. I see. Well, where is he? Everything looks the same. But it is here. I made it to pieces of rock I found in the quarry. You did? Little tips. Mama Sita, close your eyes. I will surprise you with it. They're closed. You ready? Now you may look. Chata. Oh, Chata. It's not good enough for Santa Inez. Oh, no, no. It's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I'm glad, Mama Sita. I have been so worried. Worried? See, si, Mama Sita, I worried twice. Once I worried that you would not get me the statue. Oh. Then I worried that a homemade grotto was not good enough. Oh, shut. 
Homemade things are not always made with the finest of tools and materials. But always they are created with love. And this is the best way. Sometimes I feel that you're exactly like Santa Inez. Oh, gracias. Chata, Chata, stop it. This is senseless. Now, you have been told not to fear. It's a friendly noise, telling us of the rain for our farms. Now, you know I've told you this a hundred times. But also, you have told me a hundred times to be careful when I run. Yet still, I trip and fall. Mama Sita, not to catch cold. Yet I do. Don't worry. Come. Time for bed, huh? Even if he stay in the I feel very well. I think I have a cold. I am chill. You have a fever. Quickly get under the covers. There. It... You went out in the rain last night. See, Mama Sita, I did not want Santa Inez to get wet on the first night. Oh. And I was afraid of the thunder. Why didn't you climb into bed with me? How could you be so foolish, Chata? That... Chata... You are sick. I will be all right, Mama Sita. Of course you will. At the doctor, he's at the school today. I will get him. And do not get out of bed for anything. I will be back. Mama Sita? Si. Did you put some of the hands back in the bottle? I get back. the mind that will be missed. you will look after her, won't you? Then your doctor, she will be all right. It is just a cold, no? It is pneumonia. Senora, she is asleep now. Do not disturb her. But she will be all right. You will give her something, huh? I have already. This medicine from the big hospital in Mexico City. In an hour, 
That'll give her some more. Doctor, I cannot pay you now, but I promise I that will. That is not important. When you can. When you can. And you will do everything? Of course. I will take her to the big hospital if you say I should do this. Senora, she is a very sick child. We cannot move her. The hospital is too far away. We must wait and hope. Pray. Senor Doctor, you will see here. You would go to the church? Si. Go then. I will stay with Chata. Right. The doctor is present. Si. Padre, she went out in the patio in the rain to shelter her new statue of Santa Ines, and she got wet. Padre, she's all I have. She's such a good child. Why, Padre? Why? There are some things, Paula, that are very hard to bear. Yet we must, and with courage and faith. Hmm. We cannot always know the reason for these things. But God does. And we know his purpose is always good. See, I will try to remember this. I shall return with you, senora. Chat is a very special friend of mine. Oh, Panda, you are good. Let us go together. Nothing more I can do. We must await the crisis. She can hear me then? Yes, but do not make her speak, Padre. Inez, Chatita, I have seen the grotto you have built for the statue to Ana Santa Inez. It is beautiful. Your heavenly patroness must be very proud of you. Very happy that your mom placed you under her special care. She will be most happy, I think, Chatita, if you pray with her that God made you well again. Senorita. Yes. What troubles you? What is it? Nothing, Mom, sweet. Oh, that's good. I feel fine. Mm. Nothing can hurt me anymore. No. I'm going to be with Santa Ines in heaven. No. No, you are going to get well. The doctor, he said so. He said so. I'm going to be Santa Inez in heaven soon. 
forever. No, senor. I fear she will get worse. I have seen delirium in its many forms. But never like this. No, doctor. Chata is not delirious. Then you think Santa Inez has asked her to join her? Perhaps, perhaps not. Perhaps she just thinks she has. Which again is delirium. But I will not argue a point while a child's life slips away. No. I will ask the father to come out. Si. Maybe he can convince Chata that she is misinterpreting Santa Inez. Si. Si, doctor. I will be back by night. Yeah. Santa Inez? No. Of our faith in God. He's not, he says not even the smallest bird can fall without God's knowing. You have need of such comfort, Senora. God knows all our needs. Padre says. He says that we do the first inch of each foot. God gives us the other eleven. This is God's way of measuring. Padre says. Does she talk much? Say? Say that soon she will see something else. She says that she will look like me. But kind of even. But she won't be able to dance as good as Quickly, I have an idea. Hey, doctor. Senora, at this point there is nothing more I can do. Nor you, nor the padre. Am I right? Please. This is so. Then who can help her? Our Lord. And who is best to ask our Lord this favor? Santa Inez? Exactly. Santa Inez or someone posing as Santa Inez. I do not understand. It is this simple. Tonight you pose as Santa Inez. Appear to Chata. Explain to her that she misunderstood you, that she can be with you without dying. Convince her of this. No. It would not be right to pose as a saint. Would it be right? Is it right to let a beautiful child die? No. Then do as I say. Get a white robe. Pose as the saint. But to my face, she would know. To her it is as the saint's face. Did she not tell you this? Moreover, it will be night. Do as I say, senor. There is no other chance. To pose as a saint. I will talk to Chata now. Later tonight, you must appear as Santa Inez. I think it will work, senor. See? I'm sure of it. I am of the world. I know these things. But to make sure, we will listen to my little telephone. Oh, of course. You will excuse us, senora. This is only a two-way lie. Oh. Senorita? 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 
Bachata, you are 500 percent improved. Soon you will be up and outside and playing and picking flowers with the Grotto of Santa Inez. That's what she said last night. Ooh. Santa Inez, she visited with me. Oh, it was wonderful to you know the poor. Here? Santa Inez? What did she say? She said there was no need for me to go to heaven to be at her side. She said, Chapa, you're at my side at the grotto, in school, in church, and you work in the fields, everywhere. So long as you love God, so long as you serve Him. That's the best way to love me, your mama, and all His creatures. Isn't that is so? And then she talked about the grotto. She liked it very much, even though I made it. She told me other things that I'm to do. I'm to begin as soon as I am well. And that will be any day. Now, you rest, and I will be back to visit you again in a few days, huh? Less than a week. Oh, God. Senora, it is amazing. She remembers every detail of the visit of Santa Inez last night. She told me what was said almost word for word. You did a fine job, Senora. Pause as the same. This was a wise thing. Senora, what is it? Senor Doctor, I want to see the pottery. He said it would not be right for me to pose to Santa Inez. I did not pose. I could not. It would have been wrong. What? I did not pose. the way we felt when we heard it. And now for the newspaper clipping, which is dated 13 years after the story of Chata took place. Fifteen orphan children on their way to a picnic narrowly missed death today when the bus they were riding in collided with a truck overturned and caught fire. The quick and heroic actions of the young woman in charge of the group is credited with saving the lives of the children. The young woman, together with the driver of the bus, removed the children through windows and an emergency door. The young woman's full name was not ascertained, but the children referred to her as Chala, a Mexican nickname for Pugnos. Thirteen years. That's a long time to wait for an answer, isn't it? Or is it, if you look at it this way? Though the mills of God grind slowly, yet they grind exceedingly small. Though with patience he stands waiting, with exactness, grinds he all. I believe that's Mr. Longfellow. And I believe I believe him. Well, good night. See you next week. Visit Loretta Young again next week, same time, same station.